lights, camera, action. Okay. You're watching Food is Medicine TV where we help you heal from the root cause. Today, we are helping you age gracefully. It is absolutely possible to be much younger on a cellular level than you are chronologically. And we know the longest living people in the world, they are measuring 10, 20, sometimes 25 years younger cellularly than they actually are chronologically. And the way that we can do that is to protect something called our telomeres. These are the end caps of our DNA. So if you think about your DNA like a shoelace, right, you think like this is your chromosome, and then you look at the end cap here, the end of your shoelace, that's what a telomere is. And the longer we can keep our telomeres, the slower we age. You can imagine if this protective coating wasn't here, this entire shoelace would unravel, right? So what we need to do to protect our DNA, keep our telomeres healthy and we can influence that with lifestyle factors. Your lifestyle, you have so much power. It's not just in some of us. This power is in all of us to slow down the aging process because if we can age gracefully, we can maintain and sustain a very high quality of life for so many decades. It actually helps you live a completely different type of existence. So ways that we can protect our beautiful telomeres are to manage stress. Stress is the number one ager, and so when you're under stress, which just happens, right, because we all have stressful things in life, you can take adaptogens and amino acids and things that really work to modulate the stress process, to modulate cortisol in the body. My two favorite things to take are rhodiola. This is an adaptogen that hails from Russia. It will modulate cortisol within your body. And then also L-theanine, especially if you tend to have any type of anxiety or you experience stress in a really big way. These are wonderful adaptogens to take. L-theanine is an amino acid. It's uh, clinically proven that taking the right amount of omega-3s are gonna be really helpful to protect your telomeres. So you wanna make sure you're getting the right, the right fats in, but I think every single human should be taking fish oil on a daily basis. I also love lemon balm. This is a very safe and gentle adaptogen. This is actually homemade medicine that we've made with, with a group of us. And lemon balm is really calming and soothing just to take the edge off of stressful times in life that we're all gonna have to deal with. You gotta get moving. You've got to exercise. Research shows that the high intensity interval training even 20 minutes a day is going to go so far to protect your telomeres. And so just putting on your running shoes, go for a jog, do a 30 second burst maybe three or four times throughout a 20 minute jog, try an orange theory class. And if you can't do something like that, just go walking and choose to go up the hills, right? Or take the stairs at work instead of the elevator and on your lunch break, go up the stairs three or four times. Whatever it is, just start wherever you are and that can be so super helpful. The other influential factor in our telomere length is how well do we sleep? How often do we sleep? Are we producing melatonin? Which is why I have this sleep mask here, because if you can use a sleep mask when you sleep, it will actually help you produce more melatonin in the pineal gland, and that will be very helpful for deeper sleep. We have an entire blog and show on sleep that we will link to below. A few other things you can do is make sure your diet is high in antioxidants. We've done an entire show on antioxidants and how you can use them to protect your cellular health. Make sure you're eating high quality protein and really go low, if not at all, on the processed meats and watch your blood sugar. Choose lower glycemic snacks like nuts because if you have a high hemoglobin A1C or you have high glucose, you're at risk for type 2 diabetes, you know, sugar is gonna make you age so much faster than you need to, my friend. So watch all of these things. And if you wanna find out how long or short your telomeres are, you can take this test called Tello Years. I've taken it recently, and my chronological age is 39. It will be 40 by the time you're watching this. 
but my cellular age is 30. So I'm holding on to that and I'm gonna to try to hold on to that for as long as possible with my lifestyle and I know that you can too. So leave a comment below and let me know, have you checked the length of your telomeres? How old are you cellularly compared to your actual age? And if not, do you want to get this test done? And what kinds of things can you do that we've talked about today to help you age gracefully and keep your cellular health intact? Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time on Food is Medicine TV.